Hello everyone, today we are going to study lessons 4, 5 and 6 of unit 9 titled Watch, Listen and Make. So let's start with the new vocabulary. The first word, hide. So to hide is to go to a place where you cannot be seen or found or put something in a place where it cannot be seen or found. Wonder used as a polite way of asking a question or asking somebody to do something. Cry to produce water from your eyes usually because you're sad, angry or hurt. Hug to put your arms around someone and hold them closely usually because you love them. Action the things that happen in a film. Action film, a film that has a lot of exciting events. Escape, to leave a place that you should stay in. Review, to present an opinion of a film, book or play. Theme park, it's a large park that you usually pay to go in with big machines to ride on or play games on and with cafes, restaurants, etc. Jurassic of the period between around 208 to 146 million years ago when the largest known dinosaurs lived. So now let's read this text Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Meg, Beth and Amy were sewing when Joe came into the room with a newspaper. She sat down and started to read it. Anything interesting? asked Meg. Oh, only a story, Joe replied. What's it called? asked Beth. She wondered why Joe was hiding behind the newspaper. It's called The Rival Painters, said Joe. Why don't you read it to us? asked Amy. Joe started to read it very quickly. The girls listened carefully. The story was very sad. I liked it, said Meg at the end. She was crying a little. Isn't it strange that the characters are called two of our favorite names? Beth saw Joe's face. Who wrote the story? she asked. Joe jumped up, threw the paper down and said, Your sister. You? shouted Meg. It's very good, said Amy. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I'm so proud, said Beth, hugging her sister. Important notes. The first one. How is it going? The idiom, how is it going, is another way to say, how are you, how are things, progressing, or what's up. The et can refer to life in general, a project, or your day. For example, Warda, how is it going? Rawia, I am fine, thanks. The second note, the difference between these three words here. The first one, park, as a noun. It's an area of public land in a town or a city where people go to walk, play and relax. For example, the children are playing in the park. The second one, park as a verb, to leave a vehicle that you're driving in a particular place for a period of time. For example, don't park your car here. It's not allowed. We have bark as a verb. When a dog barks, it makes a short, loud sound. Dogs bark when they see strangers. Let's read this text. A review of Jurassic World. Jurassic World is an adventure film. The stars of the film are Chris Pratt and Price Dallas Howard. 
It's about a theme park where scientists have helped dinosaurs to live again. Th then some of the dinosaurs escape. What will happen? I thought the action was exciting and my favorite thing was the scary dinosaurs. They look very real, but in my opinion, the story isn't very interesting or new. I recommend this film if you like exciting and scary films, but not if you want a good story. Okay, so let's read this, how to make invitations. So you can use this form here. Would you like to, for example, would you like to come to my sister's wedding? You can also use this form. I'd like to invite you to. For example, I'd like to invite you to my birthday party. We have a third form. I was wondering if you would like to. For example, I was wondering if you would like to come to my cousin's house tomorrow. How to make offers. You can use the first one here. Shall I bring some cakes or fruit? The second one, I'll bring you some coffee if you like. The third one, would you like me to open the window? Making requests. The first one, could you open the door for me please? The second one, do you mind if you open the door for me? The third one, I wonder if you could help me with my homework. Now, let's do this exercise here. The first one, I'll my friends to my family party. So the answer is, I'll invite. Number two, Alice in Wonderland is film, it's exciting. So, it's an adventure film. Number three, yesterday I heard that kangaroo from the zoo. So the answer is escaped. Number four, Ahmed Helmi is I love him so much. So is a star. Number five, A uh, is a large park with machines to ride on, restaurants, etc. So it's a theme park. Number six means the things that happen in a film. So it's actions. Number seven, there is a grate from the top of the tower. So the answer is, there is a great view. Number eight, we should all our plastic to use again. So, recycle. Number nine, air is able to stop fires. So the answer is, firefighter. Number ten, the dinosaurs look, they are very big and dangerous. So the answer is scary. Now let's do this exercise here on grammar. Number one, I was wondering if you would like to my house tomorrow. So the answer is would like to come. Number two, you like to see a film of little women? Of course. So the answer is would you like to? Number three, I bring some table tennis balls. So the answer is, shall I bring? Number four, you bring me fruit juice. So, could you bring me fruit juice? Number five, I wonder if you tell me what a star is made of. So the answer is, I wonder if you caught. Number six, I'd like to know if you, your job. So the answer is, if you like your job. Number seven, do you mind if I win some, uh, you some questions? So the answer is, ask. Number eight, I wonder if you could my bag. So if you could carry my bag. Number nine, I like to invite you to my birthday party. So I'd like to. Number ten, you get me some biscuits please so the answer is good now let's do this exercise here complete the sentences with the correct form of the words in brackets the first one would you to listen to music 
So the answer is, would you like to? Number two, what time should I to your house? So, what time should I come? Number three, shall I some table tennis pools? So the answer is, shall I prank? Number four, which play would you like? So the answer is, would you like to watch? Number five, shall I use some juice? So, shall I bring you some juice? Number six, would you mind me your pike? So, would you mind lending me your pike? Number seven, I use some tea if you like. So, I will get. Number eight, could you the door for me please? So, the answer is, could you open the door for me please? So, that's it for today. I hope you understand this. Goodbye.